Hello everybody, this is Driver. So I figured I'd do just a plain Jane recording rather than do a live stream. And the reason of that is I'm doing some testing. So we are still doing Rocky Mountain Valley. This is a different save game. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick us on over there. So we're back in our usual loading spot here. So I've been working with a modder um, that's been doing some edits on this map. He has added some stuff, moved a few things, and I'm not sure if it's by mistake, but um, a few things have disappeared. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of this still in testing, so keep that in mind. Um, when it does get um, released with the correct um, stuff working right, um, and things might be just a little bit different. Things are um, still in the works. So. <clears throat> Um, with the main start here, let's take a look at our map. So, right now things have just been written in. PDA has not been updated at all. Um, there are two mine areas that I went and looked at. Some forestry has been added. Things have been rearranged a little bit. Fields are in the same place. Roads are mostly there. Things have been removed. Um, <clears throat> So what we're going to test for right now um, in this episode is we're going to go do a little bit of mining. Now, I uh, well let's uh, let's take a look at this real quick. I gotta, need to show you all this. Right now everything's in uh, I, think, I believe this is in French, but these are our new mining products. There's a total of six, uh, it's not six eight. Uh, real world's got me down. Anyhow, so we have no way to store any of it and no cell points have been set up yet. This is just like I said, it's all testing right now. Um, <clears throat> I went and bought some equipment. Now, most people would, you know, pick up a wheel loader, grab a, a bucket that suits your needs to do the realistic thing. Now, I'm not against realistic, but you guys know that I play a lot of heavily modded equipment and I tweak some as well. So I didn't go that route. Um, you could probably do this with a telehandler <clears throat> or maybe even a skid steer anything that would take a pretty little bucket something like so you know just a pretty little bucket not a big bucket <laughs> anyhow everybody's got their own way <clears throat> me I've decided to go do something crazier so let's uh <clears throat> see if we can go find one of our truck the truck I just bought so Did I not buy it? Don't tell me I did not buy it. Why is it not showing up here? Alright, let's tower on it. Alright, so let's uh let's go visit the shop then. Dead burn, I know I bought it. Well I bought it, but it ain't there. Alright, so <clears throat> we are gonna be using this little milling machine. Um, this thing will pick up everything. It'll pick up wheat off the ground, um, pig food, whatever. Pretty nice. And we have that hook lift um, tipper, more or less. <clears throat> the truck, I'd like to know what happened to my truck. So let's go so we can find it. There she is. <clears throat> so we're using that. I don't care for the uh, German, or not even just German, European trucks. They're, they're not my thing. I'm from the US, but you know, if it works, it works. So this, this truck here has a three point um, attachment on the front. I can use that milling machine on it rather than using a tractor. Yes, unrealistic, I get it, I get it. So we're gonna put some tires on this. Uh, we're gonna leave it with just standard with a rear hitch. I think we're gonna go rear, standard rear. No, we need that right there. I don't know why I forgot all about that. So when I bought it initially, it was whatever. So. Might as well just paint this thing an ugly green. Uh, go and give it an ugly green. I think that might match that bed. Is that a little too bright? Let's see. We'll go a little darker. Go with a John Deere look. We'll just give it white, uh, yellow wheels. All right, so. There she be. Um, <clears throat> not exactly the fastest piece of equipment around. This is a new save game, obviously. I still have the other save game, so we may be going back with that. 
Uh, let's see, economy I don't care about right now. We can be turned on automatic motor. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just go ahead and save that up real quick. All right. So sorry about um, all the issues here. I don't know why the steering didn't look right. I thought I had like a twin steer front end or something. So let's see. Initially, I planned on <clears throat> buying all this. Actually, I started the first stream, or video, that did I say. I did that, um, while trying to buy the equipment, and then realized I didn't even have the, the equip, right equipment. So, let's see, lower extend arm. Then I was having a problem finding the equipment. My butt was just scrolling through it too quickly. Um, yeah, all three of these are modded pieces of equipment. I've obviously um, modded up this uh, um, container. I guess you can call it a container. So, um, but we're solely here for testing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just test. We can't store none of it, and we cannot sell any of it. Sell points have not been set up to accept it. The silos have not been set up to accept it as well. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure it loads. The textures look pretty decent, um, at least close to what they're supposed to be for a start. Um, and then we're just going to dump it on the ground. Matter of fact, we might just dump it right where we found it. So... And because we're testing, I don't want to sit here and drive all over this map. Don't get me wrong, I love this map, and driving on it is pretty fun. But for testing purposes, let's just get it done, right? So, we're going to cheat. Let's see, where can we go here? Uh, build 10, maybe? No. Uh, sadly, we're not that far away. We could just drive, but... I am going to cheat, ladies and gents. I wish I could just scroll a little bit, but... Alright, just like magic. We are in a field. And to my knowledge, I have crop destruction turned off. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta find the correct road. I think that way is that. So a few things have been tweaked on this edition. Um, one thing that I wasn't aware of, um, the guy that was modding on this map jumped on my live stream here um, a week or two ago. And the train that runs in this upper section, which we're not actually gonna get into, but we're gonna go cl close to it, it wouldn't pull the hill, or it barely would. You had to be at like full mass before you could even think about climbing it. And then you would crawl in at the top. He's adjusted that, man, it works beautiful. I don't use the trains. Um, and we were talking about the trains as well, but here's the thing. I don't think anybody uses the trains. I mean, some people do probably. Um, I mean, the trains are there to stay. They're not going nowhere. But, um, so, a couple of things I gotta check. So that might be a little bit on the loud side there. Those, uh, torches there. And the other thing we've been working on is what everybody knows is called clip distance. So, and that's how far away you see see something. Now this has been adjusted. Um, it's a lot better than what it was. Um, I don't know if we can really adjust it anymore, but. So, anyhow. Let's see here, lower that bad boy down. And let's see what we're picking up here. That kind of looks like maybe gravel. It's not wide enough to be salt. Um, I don't run this enough to remember it. So, let's see how it looks. Okay, loads. Gravity air. So this here is our gravity air. Yeah. 
and we're not going to fill this um, tipper end, if you want to call it that. We're not going to fill it full. I, I think I've got it at a stupid number, like one million. Um, I don't think we really want to load a million. We're not going to take it nowhere. Main thing is that we want to make sure it works. Um, everything's working like it should. Let's see here, let's take a look. That looks pretty good. The texture looks pretty good. Let's see if we can see what's in there. That's the downside of me running this modded equipment. We don't see a pile in there yet. So it looks like it's loading pretty good. It looks pretty good. Animations are working right with this at least. So I'm sure they're going to work just fine with anything else. And you can probably see why I decided to pick this. I mean, we're already at... I don't even know if I have a unit converter. That's got to be leaders. I usually use unit convert. This would normally show up as tons, I believe. So we're already at almost 65,000 liters. I mean, if that gives you an idea how quick this is going, if you're running a map by yourself, something like this is pretty beneficial. Um, you can Google this. Um, it listed in the shop as the milling machine. Um, I know that on the mod itself, it's called Phrase or Frash. F-R-A-E-S-E -E or something in that neighborhood. Um, great working piece of machine. Um, I should have painted it green to match the truck. I was actually hoping that I could paint that, um, that body bed that I put on here. But So, all right there, we're almost at 100,000 pounds. This stuff is loading up pretty nice with no issues. So, let's see, that's 100,000. I think we're good. So... That looks pretty good. Seems to be working quite nicely. So, um, we're just going to leave it over here in the general area. Cut a nice little dent there, didn't we? All right. Let's see why I'm, oh, I'm too close to that wall. So let's see. We're going to dump on the ground. Let's see how this looks. The thing that I like about this bed is when you unload. You see, it stopped because it has a pile there. I guess it thinks it's not whatever. But anyhow, as you pull forward, that deal stays open. A lot of tippers will just start closing up on you. It took us a little while to dump all this. Look at that pile we're making. One heck of a little trail, isn't it? So this might be a little bit boring, but I figured you guys might enjoy watching a little bit of this. <clears throat> Just kind of see what I do in the background sometimes when I'm not doing a stream or anything like that. I record a lot of these testing videos. Alright, so we left a nice little pile there. That looks like more than what actually came out of that hole. So, that is definitely cool. Oh, and also, uh, comment on my, my sounds and everything. I, um, added music. I, I found some copyright free music. Hopefully they don't get muted. And uh, I just want to make sure the audio levels ain't too loud. I think it might be a little too quiet. Some songs are louder than the others, you know. I don't want it to be too annoying. So, let me get my little trusty notepad out here real fast. We're going to write down as we um, pick stuff up. So we picked up Gravier. All right. Now we're going to load this one. Now this product, I am trying to figure out. Let's take a look here. Oh, that kind of looks like stone or gravel. What's this supposed to look like? That's definitely gravel. So, this might be stone? By the looks of it? Or maybe some type of a concrete, maybe? Crushed concrete? Sounds like an idea. Alright, so... Let's fill her up. The thing with this milling machine, you just got to kind of keep moving forward, you know, if you want to make quick progress. I don't think we need to load no 100,000. Let's just go 50,000 on these mining products and see how they, how everything looks. The animation there looks pretty decent. Um, 
the texture is correct as it's loading it. The texture of the trader is right. Or the body here, what do you want to call it? We're going to call it a trader today. Like I said, I wanted to just do this kind of quick and easy. I used to use this when I played over on PV Industries here for a while. Alright, we're, we got about 50 grand in there. So, let's see here. Actually, looks like a good home for it right there. downside you got to switch back and forth between everything but that's all good I should have wrote that down while I was it was up there on our display but trying to keep track of everything that we collect that way if we miss something I can find out maybe later where it's at so I'm not sure if that's the only two products in here this is a large line of it if that is okay so yeah that's just two products so far is there anything on this little wall the clip distance being a little out oh. nothing over here See how the clip distance is different. We got that dropped on the ground over there. So that's different. All right, so we've tested those two. And, oops. Uh, our other mine section is down there by 26. We're going to teleport that to that corner. You guys know how long it takes to drive across this map if you've been playing or watching me play this. But actually, no, I take that back. We're going to go over by the forestry section. There is, in the forestry section in the water, I believe it would be called silt um, once it gets translated. Because typically silt is in the water, and it's in the water. It's kind of like in a little riverbed. So let's go over there. Let's test that out real quick. Let's see what's going to be our quickest route. Field 14, and it's right through the tunnel, looks like. So let's do that. Yeah, this truck does not like to being teleported, does it? Oh, let's set the cruise. That's going to be a long ride right there. Not sure if I'm going to do any testing on the forestry. I mean, trees are trees; they should cut. But I will eventually go up there into some of these um, forestry areas and at least knock some trees down with some type of equipment, or heck, I might just do it with a chainsaw. Probably mill some of them and then just chainsaw more. You know, just make sure everything works. Um, trains are still here. I haven't seen any moving around, but I'm not waiting for one at least. Um, so, let's see. One thing I've noticed about this truck, about 49 is all it wants to do, even though that cruise says it'll run 50. Alright, so I'm sure everybody's kind of familiar with most of this area over here. This is something in the testing right here. Look at these um, doors. Those white doors from a distance, they were flickering. So, this is something I have not checked out, so let's do that while we're here. This is a new cell point. Um, not sure what cell point. Let's see what cell point it is. Let's go take a look. So we are at the sugar factory. It's just called the sugar factory cell point. And let's see here. Sugar factory right here. Prices aren't up yet. Well, I'm on the wrong end of it. 
sugar factory. Okay, so it takes sugar cane, sugar beets, yeah, just like a sugar mill would, right? It's only two things you need. So um, we will need to get some sugar beets and some sugar cane in here and test those out. But the only reason I actually stopped this way was because I needed to see them doors. Uh, doors are flickering over here in places. Not everywhere, but somewhere. Some are. Ooh, let's get away from the building. Alright, so to get up to this beautiful place, as you can see straight ahead is the road. Let's just cut across the tracks so where we get stuck. Nope. Alright. That's a stout little hill, isn't it? So there's a whole lot of forestry up here. Um, basically, you hit the top of this hill, this this road does a circle, big long circle. And uh, there's a lot of trees up here, and there's still a lot of trees down there. Guys, if, if forestry is something you enjoy, um, this map should keep you busy for a little while with forestry. Because, I mean, this right here is just a little bitty fraction, just an itty bitty fraction. I mean, you see trees over there. Um, there's trees everywhere. So anyhow, we're not going that way. We're actually going back over here. We're gonna go across that bridge. As far as I know, um, this is all new. I really got to be for sure. I'm, I don't know 100%. I don't want to tell y'all guys wrong. But I believe that this up here is all new. And in this water right here, there you see it. I believe this is probably going to be called silt. I don't know what it's called in French. We're fixing to find out. And that is a... Let's see what that is here. Kind of just looks like mud, right? Fill her up, baby. Fill her up. So the texture from the pipe looks good. Loading looks good. Stuff disappears quick. So we can stay on top of it. So I'm assuming that this whole riverbed, at least down to that next bridge, is full of this stuff. But, uh looking good so far the guy that's been working on this map um, I'm not gonna mention his name right now he will probably join me in a live stream when we get when everything gets finalized and gets ready to go I'll let him make the call if he wants to be known um, but I believe he has done an excellent job there's always gonna be a few things that isn't a hundred percent perfect or right you know, it's a lot of it's trial and error, so you got to keep that in mind. That's where the testing comes in. All right. So we got us a nice 50,000 liters of that. So let's make sure this tips to the ground. We'll just drop us a nice little line here. I out of my trailer. Out, I see. Unloads just fine. Textures are still there. Nothing's changed. Nothing's went wacky. And that is called Terre. I looked just at the last second. <laughs> so we've found three so far. So let's figure out how we're going to do this next place. I'm trying to remember what road to go to. Let's the escape. Look at the big picture. If I'm thinking correctly, the road is right. That it's either here or over here. I really can't remember. I guess we can teleport to 42, and we'll see where we go from there. Oh, we did right. All right, so it's right here by 42. I guessed correctly, because I honestly couldn't remember. So 
full truck work to get that hill. All right, so there's several mining products up here. I like how you kind of spread them out. They're not all in just one place. What well, all in one place is nice and convenient. I will give it that. So here we are. And let's see. To me, that looks like that's going to be kind of like gravel. Uh, didn't I say we already did one? Let's see here. That is gravier again. So that is in two locations. I'm not sure if that's correct, if that's supposed to be that way. We're going to go with it. So we've already picked this product up once. So we're not going to go as much as we have. Alright, that's good enough. That's enough. Quit loading. right there, but we're not going to for testing purposes. Alright, so let's unload it. Alright, so that is in two locations. That's fine. Let's see what else is up here. say that is going to be a lot of gravel. A lot of gravel, folks. Look at all that. And I don't even know how deep that goes back there. That got, that's got to go a ways. Alright, so that's probably all that's up here. Let's go down here. I think this is almost kind of like three platforms in a way. So, oh, there we go. That kind of looks like salt. Or right, brake check. Check them brakes. here we have the et tier seems to be loading pretty good textures look correct yep matches what's on the ground at least So before I publish this video, I'm going to try to Google what these mining products are into English. That way, you guys kind of have an idea of what we're getting into here in the future. V don't work on load guys. In case you ever wondered. Yeah, it looks good. It's the same product that's over there. One would hope so, right? Alright. So let's see. I don't know if that's the only product here on this platform. We'll call it a platform. like it is. So, and you know what? We did not cheat. I forgot to write that down. We're going to cheat off the uh, cell thing real quick. Alright, so. <clears throat> Alright, so that's that one there. So, so far we've got 
four out of eight products. So let's go down here and see what we got down this way. Ooh, that kind of looks like uh, maybe either coal or asphalt possibly. In robe. I'm not sure what that one means. I should have Googled all of this beforehand, but uh, I just wanted to get here and test it. If the name matches and you know what's in the system and all that. Texas is what's important. I mean that looks identical to what I'm picking up. No, nope, it's identical. And there's a lot of this product here. There's gonna be a lot of this stuff, guys. This um you know, when they first came out with um, cutting down trees, and don't ask me which farm sim they did that in. I started in the 17, so I don't know. But they said it would be a great break from doing the fields, a welcome to change, you know. So, this is going to be probably a welcome change to some people that just need to make a little money. I mean, you think about it, you know. You sell enough stuff and be able to get one of these trucks set up like I've got it set up. And, uh, yeah, you can start selling this stuff up here and start making money right off the kick. Then go buy that high dollar equipment you want. Let's see, how's it look when we unload it? Paving the road right there. Oh, that's it. We ran out of asphalt, folks. Man, I didn't write that one down either. Well, I think I can remember that one, but I'm going to write it anyhow. So there's five. We've got three more products somewhere around this place. Let's go see what's down this way. It's got to be coal. It's either coal or asphalt. Looks like the end of the line of that one. So we got one more product, I guess. Oh, that looks like ore. That one is probably ore. Even though it's not spelled right on here. picked up Terry once. up here or down in this corner wherever direction you want to call it yeah, that's it. All right. and then for those of people that are kind of wondering this is just a loading dock right here is all this is guys it's all that is you can back a like a semi trailer up to the hat and pallet load this stuff how you would pallet load it is beyond me right at the moment. One advantage I would see is if you was using just a standard tipper truck like that Ford that I use, you could park that, that Ford right here like so. You'd want to get close. So if you parked it about yay and used a wheel loader, then you could take that wheel loader and easily dump in there without having to reach real high. But wheel loaders sometimes don't have a high enough reach for the truck you may choose. Um, so that's a possibility of something you could use there. Um, but I will be honest, the first time I saw this ramp deal here, I didn't realize it was a ramp, and I'm just like, what in the world is that? I tried to dig it up with this uh, 
milling machine. So... Alright, let's shut that old truck down. So, we've got two products in two locations. I don't know if that is a mistake or intentional. But we've only got five out of the eight. So the question is, is where's the rest? We're still missing Sable, or Sable, Sable, CB, I don't know. Uh, Baton and Ballast, I believe there's the three we're missing there. Yep. All right, so a couple of areas I haven't checked. I'm not really sure. not going to be in the forestry areas. Could be. I'm trying to remember how to get in that other forestry area. Let's go to field 38, guys. I'm curious about something. I'm going to try something here real quick. This is another forestry area up here, and it is massive. Look at all that. Look at all them trees up there, guys. All them trees. Uh, when I was doing a test run on this map, just without any equipment, no mods or anything, I was driving one of the pickup up here, and man, that was a fun little drive. So let's see here. At least it's a paved road. Kind of. White brick road, we'll call it. Don't get a yellow brick road. No, we're not in Kansas. What was that? That movie? Eh, who knows? I don't watch movies. At least I haven't watched much here in a long time. At least for this truck, I ain't got to worry about going too fast around most of these curves. And there's a bridge there, guys. I don't remember where that bridge goes. Let's go across the bridge first. Or let's go up the bridge. Let's see what's up here. Maybe there's some more mining up here. Stairway to heaven, guys. Is that it? Our gaming life is done. We have now passed on to the other realm. Okay. Um, yeah, that's right. This is a forestry area. No mining products this way. It's a pretty view from up here, though. Right, let's drive up on the other side there. As much as I hate to do this, give me one second, guys. I need to uh, step away from my computer for a minute. I gotta take care of something real quick. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm sorry about that. Had to check the door for some weird reason. I thought I heard somebody at the door, but I didn't find anybody out there. Probably just hearing things. Might be the wind blowing or something. We've had some pretty good winds up here. So, before I get rolling again, I'm going to grab me another Coke real fast. And we'll be back in business. y'all packed a picnic for up here. You guys didn't know I was going to drop y'all all off. I'll drop all you guys off up here with a set of chainsaws. I'll come back tomorrow and see if you're done. We're already up here, so I'm going to go ahead and double check for sure. Because of the clip distance being off on some of these mining products, this side I know I didn't drive over to. I remember this area now that once I got up here. But I want to make sure that he didn't hide some kind of mining product up here. You'll see like how that sticks out a little bit over there. Are there trees over there? Is it mining products? Might be a farmhouse we don't know about. Might be a Jack Daniels distillery over here. I mean, we are in the woods, right? We all know popcorn's still making whiskey, right? <laughs> Okay, there's nothing up here. Let's take a look at the view real quick while we're at it. Yeah, look at that view. Only one to go off the end of that water, boy. I did not know that lighthouse was here. Not sure if that area down there is new or not. I don't think it is. I think that's as far as some of the old selling stuff. All right, other than uh, looking at the view from up there, kind of a wasted drive, but that's all good. We'll, uh, we'll make do with what we got. <clears throat> I wonder how much it hurt if I just fell off this right here. I wonder where I'd end up at. Let's see. But oh, the road's right there. Oh, well, there's quite a few drop-offs down there. Hope nobody needs to mow the grass down there. It'll be hard to get the lawnmower down there, and if you get it down there, you're never going to get it out to get it refueled. Alright, well, we took the stairway to heaven. I guess now we got to take the stairway back to hell. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 that's the highway to hell. Nah, I'm kidding around, guys. So let's see if there's some mining hidden somewhere else. We're missing three products still. Oh, that's a tight little turn. This is one of those twisty roads you wish you were riding on a Harley on, you know. Wind in your face. Checking out the sights and the sounds. All right. Um, I think we hit a dead end. There's nothing but trees up here. Good golly. There's not even enough. There's not even enough room to turn around the log trailer once you get up here. <laughs> okay, so. There's no mining there. I may have to get back with the guy that was doing the work on this and see if we can figure out where the rest of the mining went. Where is it hidden? 
Um, I know there's a bunch of forestry right up in here. Around here, that is. Well, uh, heck, I don't know. It's all about the testing, right? So, let's see. Let's see if I can find the military base, show you guys that it's still around. Whoa. I'm glad I'm not the only one seeing this. Wee. That is one carnival ride I don't want to be on, ladies. This is the downside of doing teleportation. Okay, let's try that again. Because that doesn't seem like it's going to end. <laughs> ah, much better. Much, much better. So where are we at here? That's where we want to go, right there. So, the military base is still over there. With this so-called coronavirus going around. Surprised there ain't a line of military trucks leaving yet. Take the Grand Theft Auto way in here. So many cops come after us. But as you can see, everything's still here. It's just been relocated, that's all. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this stream. Try to keep them a little bit short. This has been going on for a little over 45 minutes now. Um, if you enjoyed uh, hanging out with me, feel free to like the uh, video. Um, feel free to subscribe to me. Um, my Twitter information and whatnot is on my About Me section. Should be somewhere over in there. And, uh, yeah. Hope y'all come and check me out uh, again. And uh, if you got any uh, questions, comments, uh, suggestions, all, all uh, constructive, um, feel free to throw it in the comments. And, you know, suggestions that you make, I will get with the modder and see if we might want to try to implement some of this in here you know things that y'all might want to see um things you might want to change up a little bit we're not going to go wild we're not going to turn this map into something it isn't um but if there's things you'd like to see in the map maybe some things you'd like to get rid of um you know we'll take it in consideration i would think um i'm pretty sure that the modder would so on that note guys I am going to tab out of here and we're going to throw that little screen right back up. There's my fat self waving at you. <laughs> but anyhow, guys, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, Y'all have a great weekend. I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.